And don't worry about me holding a, a camera uh, and driving at the same time, you guys. I, I'm doing this very, very safe. You see, um, I'm holding the camera directly in front of my face. So uh, I'm actually just using the camera to drive, uh, kind of like virtual reality. So I, I'm completely aware of you know, what's going on here. And as long as, uh, as long as I don't run out of battery, I should be able to drive just fine through the storm here. <laughs> totally kidding. I'm kidding. Don't don't do that. Don't don't drive your car through the phone. That would, that would not be a good idea. But I totally had to say that because I know somebody is gonna be like, you're gonna die and kill everybody with you. Uh oh. Brake check on the interstate. I'm on my way home from Tampa Airport. We were rolling like 90 just now, and now we're not. I wonder what's going on. Maybe it's raining. People are scared of the rain. Oh, it's definitely raining up ahead. See all the uh, all the headlights on the other side. Yes. B town. There's a bunch of lightning strikes like right over here. Well, brake check. Objects in phone are farther away than they appear. Or wait, oh, that wasn't right. Objects in phone are closer than they appear. There we go. Much closer. Yeah, I'm only like one car length away from that car, but it looks like three or four. It's deceiving. Yep. Palm Ghetto and Bradenton. Sorry, Palmetto. You're not. You're not really that bad, guys. I'm, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Yeah. Oh, hey, I found the problem. There's a kind of broken truck driving very slowly down the highway, and then the cars are afraid to pass the broken truck. That's what's going on. A typical sunshiny Florida day. It's really windy. Palm trees give it away. Yeah, here we go. There's our obstruction. Returning to light speed now. Oh, did you guys see that lightning? That's pretty cool. It struck right when I said light speed. Yeah, this is going to be kind of weird for the next couple weeks. I have to fend for myself. My my house is completely empty. Two of the kids, they went up north on vacation with their grandparents a, what, a week ago ago? Yeah, a week ago. And then my wife and the baby, they just uh, flew away this morning. And now I'm all by myself. I, I don't know if I can survive without her. I don't even know what day the trash is supposed to go out. But there's food in the house. Make sure there's plenty of food so I'll be able to survive. My goal, I think, is to not, like, thrash the house so badly that when my wife comes home, she just, like, walks in and just turns around and walks back out. I, I hope that does not happen. So I just got to maintain some level of cleanliness. Yeah, there's that rain. You can get over, guy. Come on, Pathfinder, man.
glad you did that. Kind of wanted to point that out. It's a huge pet peeve for Floridians because they'll do that all over the place. Like if it gets really bad, there'll be like four or five cars just riding along at the speed at which they can ride, but they've got their uh, little hazards on. Oh, the road is flooded. I think this is what they were doing in Miami last week. This is actually kind of gnarly. Another fun fact in the rain, did you know your car will hydroplane at 35 miles per hour? That's when, that's when the process starts. Right around 35. Oh, they broke it. Get out of there hiding out from the rain under the bridge. I'm in the merging lane. I should probably get over. Yeah, see these folks here, they all got the right idea. They don't want to drive through it. Pull over. That's the safe way. Uh, in my estimation. I think I'm gonna tuck in right behind trailer guy right here. Excuse me, blue Honda. Thank you. Hydro Max. Pressure washer guy. Silver alert. You guys know what those are? But you know, you got uh, amber alerts for when there's a missing child somewhere. Well, a silver alert is a, it's a statewide alarm for if an elderly person uh, goes renegade or rogue and is lost. It's very unfortunate, but it, it kind of does happen. However, when there is a silver alert, we don't get the notifications on our phone, but they do put them up uh, on the highways and on the billboards and stuff. Fun Florida fact of the day. I think we can go faster. I'm gonna get out from behind trailer guy here. How we looking? We're looking good. Let's get out of here. This is at least 60 mile per hour weather. I don't know why we're going so slow. <laughs> kidding, kidding. This is appropriate speed. You know, I, I actually feel somewhat personally responsible for all this weather. You see, I, uh, I mowed my lawn yesterday and uh, now the deluge is upon us. It's like clockwork, I, I, think, it's, I think it's my lawn mower that does it kind of weird mystical grass cutting Florida thing going on here. Rambling. Yeah, yeah truth be told, I'm, I'm just really bored driving home by myself and uh, I just kind of wanted somebody to talk to. I'm, you know, it's, I'm, I'm a little sad. I'm going to be all by myself. And uh, you know, I don't even know if I'm going to make a video out of this. I'm, I'm really sad, guys. I'm, I'm sad. I don't know. I don't know how else to put it. You know, I'm really good at being a loner until I'm lonely. And right now, I'm, I'm so ronery, so ronery. You remember Kim Jong Il from uh, oh, what was the movie? I'm so ronery, so ronery. Team America, yeah, Team America. You know, the little animated South Park style movie where the uh, characters were like puppets, like they were literally dangling puppets from strings, and they didn't even try to hide the strings, it was like a giant parody. So lonely and sad, real wrong. Kim Jong il sang a song about how he was so ronery he could cry, and I'm, I'm that kind of ronery. Why is no one using that lane? Did I miss something? No one else is going to use it. I'm not going over there. And don't worry about me holding a, a camera uh, and driving at the same time, you guys. I, I'm doing this very, very safe. You see, um, I'm holding the camera directly in front of my face. So uh, I'm actually just using the camera to drive. Uh, kind of like virtual reality. So I, I'm completely aware of you know, what's going on here. And as long as... Uh, as long as I don't run out of battery, I should be able to drive just fine you know, through the storm here. <laughs> totally kidding. I'm kidding. Don't don't do that. Don't don't drive your car through the phone. That would, that would not be a good idea. But I totally had to say that because I know somebody is gonna be like, you're gonna die and kill everybody with you. You know, this whole trip. 
I've seen cranes and construction material and equipment everywhere. Like they even had that stuff floating on barges in Tampa Bay, like crane after crane after crane after crane. It was on, a, we've got a very, very long bridge. It's like six or seven miles that uh, runs into Tampa from the St. Pete area. It's called the Howard Franklin Bridge. And I think they're building another bridge next to that bridge because the entire length of that was all construction. Oh, another really kind of cool, fun, silly fact I want to point out I'm on my exit right now. And uh, they redid a bunch of the exits around here and they put in like these emergency parking lanes or whatever on uh, several of the exits in this area. And what happened is people didn't understand that's for parking and now they, they take those lanes as if, uh... hang on, I'm driving, there we go. Yeah, they take those lanes as if that's one of the turning lanes and then they have to merge back in with the rest of the traffic in order to uh, uh, to get uh, back into the line to make the whatever turn you're trying to make at the light. I, I just found that funny that, you know, it was a good idea, kind of, but I guess when put into practice, it fell miserably. Like, it worked on paper, but not in reality. Kind of like communism. Communism works well on paper, but uh, when... When you apply the human factor to it, it is a uh, highly dysfunctional ending political rant for the day. You know, I, I'm hoping this rain clears up pretty soon because I had a lot of stuff to do today. When I get home, I need to run like a hundred feet of fence. One of my dogs is an escape artist and uh, I need to figure out how to contain her because she's escaping at night and she's walking around through like the construction because there's some new houses going up in my area. She's walking around these construction sites and setting off people's like motion cameras. And, uh, and then she's ending up on the Facebook page for the neighborhood. I mean, she's not the only dog that's doing this. There's like 10 of them in the neighborhood that do it and a horse. But um, yeah, she needs to stop because I don't want my dog to be on Facebook. Hey, look at that. Gas went down. We we're down to where diesel is what five sixty nine a gallon now. All right, I paid six oh two yesterday. Not okay. It's crazy. The car is hydroplaning all over the place with brand new Michelins. Water is too deep. I can't. Uh, I can't maintain 40 miles per hour. Yeah, I'm a little behind schedule for uh, hurricane season, to tell you the truth. Though I've got to uh, refresh my generator. I do believe that the fuel inside of it has fouled out and uh, needs to be replaced. And the carb is probably pretty gummed up. And I'll, I need to take that apart and clean it out. That ethanol fuel, if it sits for a while, it gels up and attracts a bunch of water and things get corroded. It's not uh, not good when it's two in the morning and the power goes out and you try to start the generator in the rain and, and you can't. Not good at all. And I, I take that instance from personal experience because last year the generator did the same thing to me. I should get one that runs on propane. That seems to be kind of the, the ticket. The trouble is, if I do that, then I have to hoard propane. Oh, check it out. This is DeSoto Raceway. It's an eight mile drag strip. And out back of it is the Freedom Factory. All right, there we go, we're traction control. Oh yeah, we're all over the road again. Let's pay attention to this hydroplaning Honda here. Hey, there's the name of this video, hydroplaning Honda. Love it. Yeah, there's actually not much water on the road, except where the, the tires are riding in the lanes, it creates like these little divots, and then those little divots are gonna pull up, and that's where all this water's coming from. And you can't really avoid the 
wet divots because then you're hanging out over here on the line. And the line, in my opinion, is going to offer less traction than just the wet surface. And, uh, and I believe that way, uh, having ridden motorcycles for most of my life, you never ever ride with your rubber on the lines because the paint is uh, actually quite slick. Whoa, it's getting a little rough through here. Yeah, this is fun. Headlights, bro, headlights. Yeah, we're just gonna back this one down a notch. I think 50 is a little fast. Engage high speed wipers. So I made a video the other day. Um, it was one I couldn't upload because my internet was out due to uh, the fallout from another storm similar to this one. And uh, you guys, bless your heart. Um, everybody was chiming in, you know, uh, stay safe and, you know, take care, you know. I guess it's just there's concern for, for Florida hurricane season, you know, because it can get nasty from time to time. Um, this is kind of normal. This is just some normal everyday stuff during the season. Uh, so I want you guys to know that, that we're okay and this is kind of what we do here. Uh, you know how you guys up north when a snowstorm comes, you know, you're already prepared for it, you know what to do and it doesn't, it doesn't bug you. But if a, a guy like me were to go up there, I, I may have a hard time reacclimating myself uh, to the tundra type weather. Rumble strips. But I just want you guys to know that, that everything is okay, even when you see stuff like this. We're, we're all pretty used to it for the most part. Uh, the actual danger in these situations is folks that are not used to it. Um, and I feel bad for them because it, it's, it is kind of scary. Uh, if you get plopped into this environment and you haven't uh, had much exposure to it. All right, check it out, it's clearing up. I can see blue skies again. Cool, no more flooding. All right. Upcoming hazard, what is this? Everything's a hazard. Dude on the wrong side of the road up there. That's okay, we will evade the danger. I'll just go over here. No, they broke it. Alrighty guys, we're clearing up. We're out of the woods, so to speak. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and close this video out right now. I'm getting very close to home. And if I get any closer, you guys are gonna figure out where I live. And uh, that's probably okay for like 99.995% of you, but then there's like that one or two people out there that would, that would use that information for nefarious purposes. And uh, I don't feel like getting doxxed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and close this one out right now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while we drove through that crazy storm back there. Uh, it was nice having you here. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. You guys take care of yourselves. Have a great day. See you guys later. Bye.